Hello, and welcome to Travel with Austin. Today, we will be talking about the crash and the looting of the USS Shenandoah. Following World War I, the U.S. military wanted its own airships after seeing how the German military used theirs. The U.S. was focused on making their airships as scouting devices, and they quickly got to work building their first rigid airship, the USS Shenandoah which was, of course, named after the Shenandoah Valley. Not only was this the first U.S. rigid airship, but it was the first airship to use helium instead of hydrogen, making it much safer than the airships that were used elsewhere. And after many test flights, the Shenandoah was christened on October 10th, 1923, and it's safe to say that It was instantly a hit, with crowds lining up across the nation to see it fly over them later that month on National Navy Day. And just a year later, the Shenandoah would fly across the country to California and back, becoming the first airship to ever do something like that. Now, the Navy saw the Shenandoah as a valuable tool for promoting that branch of the military. They had considered many different things, such as Arctic explorations. They built boats that the Shenandoah could moor onto. But finally, in 1925, they decided that the airship should tour the Midwest. It was planned to visit 40 cities and state fairs, along with a test of a new mooring site in Michigan. At this point, the Shenandoah had been on over 50 flights, and 43 people would be on the ship during this tour. The Navy was very excited about this and considered it to be their best promotion tool that they could possibly have. And despite warnings about the weather, the military insisted that the tour happen. On September 3rd, 1925, only a day after beginning its tour, the Shenandoah entered Ohio and faced severe storms. It is reported that, at first, Commander Zachary Lansdowne attempted to steer clear of the storms, but, feeling pressured by the strict Navy schedule, decided not to change to a more southern flight path that could have avoided the storms. The Shenandoah was caught by a storm squall. This squall twisted the hull and broke it. The airship broke into three different pieces as it fell into the earth, all following a few miles apart from each other. Somehow, the majority of those on the airship lived, albeit with injuries. However, 14 crew members, including Commander Zachary, were killed. Now, what happened next is actually quite disturbing. People quickly flocked to the crash site and began to loot it. Not only was the wreckage of the ship looted, but also the bodies of those who had died, including Commander Zachary, whose cap was taken, and possibly his class ring. One landowner even charged people to come onto his land and look at the wreckage. Soon, armed guards were sent to guard the wreck, but by the time they got there, it was too late. The wreck had already been looted. State agents were then called in to raid the houses of those who were believed to have looted the site, and many things were recovered, such as the commander's cap. But not everything was recovered, and to this day, we still don't know what happened to much of the looted wreckage. Now, there is also the mystery of the commander's ring. It was not found on his body after the crash and was believed to have been looted. It was also not found during the military cleanup of what remained of the wreckage. But in 1937, 12 years after the crash, the ring was suddenly found at the crash site. How it got there was never investigated and no one was charged with any crime.
The crash of the Shenandoah would lead to changes in the designs of airships to make them better with storm storms. However, in 1937, with the crash of the Hindenburg, most militaries, including the U.S. military, abandoned the rigid airship for use. Interestingly enough, Frederick Tobin, a survivor of the Shenandoah crash, was actually working on the ground during the Hindenburg crash. Now today, memorials exist at each of the three crash sites of the Shenandoah, and a small museum in Ava, Ohio, exists to document the horrific event. And that is the story of the crash and the looting of the USS Shenandoah.